Hey YouTubers, it's springtime, and for me that means moving wood around from the garage. So I was using a little pathetic contraption before, which, you know, it was going well until uh, I was carrying some sheets of plywood and it tipped over and shaved off a lot of the skin and flesh off the front of my legs. So I decided this winter to build an A-frame cart, and I wanted to give you a look at this thing. Um, the frame is made out of 2x8s, 2x6s, and 2x4s, so it wasn't real expensive. For a cart, it was, you know, it's about $120 for the casters and the wood and the hardware. Um, but if you look at similar things online, made out of steel and whatnot, they usually run for around $350 or so. So I thought this was a pretty good solution. So the way I made this, we'll get in close. I took a 2x8 and shaved it at an angle upright on the table saw. I could put four sheets of plywood on each side maximum on that angle. This is a 15 degree angle here. And then uh, it's six feet long. It's going to make it eight feet long, but you know, at some point it gets really hard to manage. Uh, the turning radius gets real big and uh, where I need to bring it in and out of, I just thought six feet was about right, plus I didn't want to add too much more weight than necessary, because I do have to take my wood up and down a hill. This winter's order was 25 sheets of plywood, and uh, I've been actually taking them four sheets at a time with this thing easily. Another big deal here was these big uh, swivel casters on the back, fixed casters on the front, these are the big eight inchers, and they make running around the house and up and down the hill much easier, not to mention getting in and out of uh, the door sills and things like that I have to do. All right, so let's carry some wood. All right, I've got it loaded up with four sheets of plywood, which is about the most I can handle. But it is actually pretty easy with, with four sheets, um, even though I have to go down a hill and through some grass stronger purse might be able to do sh six sheets and it's actually you have to worry about stability and the thing tipping over and that kind of thing. It's amazing how much easier this makes the whole job. All right here we're ready to take it into the house. I've got double doors thank goodness otherwise none of this would work out. Uh, the cart's about 42 inches wide um, so that's not going to fit through a regular single door. And then, of course, getting over the sill is what always got me before. The other cart with its tiny little wheels just could not make the door sill. This thing makes it in with a little bit of effort. So let's go try it here. All right, I'm going to do a close-up shot so that you guys can see how it's constructed. You can figure it out from there. <laughs> 